product design engineering is, um, is our attempt to develop uh, uh, industry professionals that bridge the gap between mechanical engineering and industrial design. I'm Professor Goosen from Product Design Engineering Technology here at Ferris State University. Product design is the design of mechanical products of a, of a wide variety. Um, it's intensive uh, combination of mechanical engineering and computer-aided drafting, uh, all directed towards designing a completed product. My name is Ryan Murphy. I'm in the Product Design Engineering Technology Program. Collaboration of multiple areas. Uh, kind of, we have mechanical design background. A lot of us come from the CAD drafting tool design program, which that gives us the design background also. And it's basically just designed to integrate everything you need to know to be able to go out in industry and handle a design concept from you know initial concept all the way up through manufacturing and production. Its principal characteristics that make it truly unique are the blend of, uh, of uh, mechanical engineering fundamentals and the actual application to a designing a completed product, a product which meets a unique need but also a product that can be manufacturable and is fundamentally sound in terms of its design concepts. Ferris is actually the second rated program in the country right behind Stanford. Uh, we're actually one of only about five in the country that have a, such a specific degree as product engineering technology. Uh, a lot of places are more on the mathematical side instead of the application side, which that, that's definitely needed too, but the, the application side and the technical side gives you the ability to go out and actually do the drawings and interpret the drawings, which a lot of other places don't do. Ferris works very hard in trying to develop uh, not only the theoretical side of things, but practical application side as well. And product design does a very good job of that because not only can they go in there and can model up parts, they can do the on-screen analysis, they can do what we call the finite element analysis work, but they know how to interpret the results and so they know what to do with those results when they're all done with them. And I think that's what makes Ferris uh, unique in this aspect. I love the professors. Um, it's very intimate. We only have two professors, which gives you uh, an ability to make personal connections, get to know them on a, a real personal level, which is one of the things that really attracted me about Ferris is the smaller class sizes and, and specifically this major because only having two professors, you know, it's kind of nice you get, get that personal relationship. And Well, I'm actually a graduate of product design engineering. Back when the program first was instituted in Ferris, I was the second graduating class out of the program. And so I left here uh, I spent 10 years of industrial experience working as, believe it or not, uh, most of my experience was in manufacturing because I had the design skills. Uh, they needed somebody with design skills and that, that knew the corporate environment to work in the facilities and so I went to do that uh, and I was able to see both sides of the, of the design process because the design process doesn't stop once the drawing's created. It continues right on through manufacturing and into production and even after production with service and, and all of that has to be pre-thought of in the product development stage in order to get a product that's going to have longevity to it. The best students are, are students who uh, have an interest in uh, creating products and taking something that either exists now or never has existed, coming up with a solution to a design problem and seeing that solution all the way through uh, a product that can be manufactured in a real uh, real situation. Right now I'm involved in the advanced pro engineer class and we're working on a three-wheeled vehicle design. Um, we basically we have four different teams and we use standard components that those teams create like an engine team, a transmission team, brake team, and suspension team. And We all have a standard frame that we have to all kind of work together and make sure all the different parts interrelate with each other and fit together. Each student upon graduation or before graduation in their last semester does an individual uh, product design project and in that project they have to do a patent research to find out what prior designs exist. They're able to select uh, a project of their choosing based on, on uh, their patent research and uh, uh, their prior life experience. Once they've selected an acceptable project, they complete the project individually uh, which culminates uh, uh, complete package all the way from material selection 
to uh, development from the initial concept all the way to the final engineering drawings and cost evaluation and uh, market factors. Uh, when they get done with this, they have truly seen the product design experience from start to finish and they culminate, uh, document their results in a formal report uh, that's something that they can use uh, essentially as a portfolio uh, during their job application process. Anything that's ever been made has been designed by someone and that's where our students are designed to go. We're not designed to go towards a particular automotive field or to uh, consumer goods. It's wherever a product's been designed, our students could fit that niche and I think we're finding that that in this challenging economy, our students are still finding a way to get out there and, and, and to get the jobs that they need because they can do so many things. They're, they're like the jack of all trades. Um, they, can, they can develop you a concept if you want, but they also can go out and they can do the analysis for that all within one individual. And so they've been enjoying a fair amount of success for that.